All right, this is Christopher Fox once again, and this is a request to sign for Dana. And the name of this video is The Dangerous World of Nikocado Avocado, and it's by TUV Tov. Um, uh, this looks interesting, so let's get right into it. Hey. That's him before he came a monster right there. Never stop eating. Some of that food I wish I had. Could afford it. It decides to waste half of it. two weeks since I last uploaded. I'm so sorry. That's the longest I've ever gone without uploading. I was busy with family stuff and yeah. my PC ended up resetting and I lost a ton of files. Luckily, I still have my main YouTube files, but I still have to download all my editing programs and I lost all my presets. So I'm going to have to start fresh editing wise. Anyway, I hope you're all good. By the time this video comes out, I think we're almost going to be at 40,000 subscribers, guys. 40,000. Yeah. Like, this so is a yeah, little like, yeah, a year so ago. In the next video, I'll probably have my different color. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know the color. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's like OnlyFans, but for like my life. Okay, huh. I'm busy getting a ton of okay. tattoos, so I got this uh, alien. And this was from cool. my cousin, and she reached. This was her first tattoo of all time. It came out really good. The new really good. I know I'm wearing checkered pants. I know they're like such a basic shoe. But yeah, yeah, I can I'm never get a tattoo. I hate needles too time. much. Anyway, before this video starts, I want to give credit to this person over on Instagram because they recommended me to talk about this topic. I also want to mention that if you guys are looking for an editing software for your phone, make sure to download Video Leap. It's a fun free editing app that is super easy to use. And if you want to help support the channel, all you guys got to do is click the link in my description and use my link. Seriously, guys, please use the link. Like, Video Leap contracted a bunch of Instagram influencers but they got me as well so i'm like the only youtuber on the team so please can we just prove them wrong and just download it for me please not just for me but also if you guys want a good editing app make sure to download a video yeah at least some that my videos man was gone. if we're gonna talk about nikocado avocado we have to know who he is first <laughs> by the way all sources will be linked down in the description below nicholas perry born may 19th 1992 age 29 better known online as nikocado avocado is a Ukrainian YouTuber and mukbanger known for his mukbang videos. Mukbang, which translates to eat cast, is a genre of videos where the creator eats food on camera. Now, this trend originally began in South Korea and then took over later in the States. As to why people like watching other people consume food, yeah. I don't know either. I actually watch mukbang videos. I'm interested in it and why. He has five channels. Nikocado Avocado, Five? Avocado 2, Nikocado Avocado 3, More Avocado, and Noodle King. With a combined following of 8.6 million subscribers across all channels, he has become infamous on YouTube and the mukbang community because of his crazy personality and his drastic weight gain. With uploads consisting of him crying while eating, arguing with his boyfriend Orlin, or just taking part in some sort of drama. There's no yeah, way he's... you heard of the name Nikocado Avocado. He's that was back you know, the video, so he has to have some sort of relevance in your memory. Or maybe you just saw the wacky thumbnail not even wacky bro that thumbnail was clean bro <laughs> this looks like a movie right the vegan mm. days i was gonna name this the skinny days yeah we're gonna talk about him being vegan but also when he was skinny i don't know if that's rude but we're gonna stick to the vegan days <laughs> so in case you guys didn't know nikocado avocado used to play the violin professionally is that him holy shit he's been up on youtube that long saying used to play professionally because he has played it in some older videos where he is eating and he's still really good at it on trisha paytas's podcast called a dish oh god trisha, not her sure that's oh my podcast. god i don't know if it's still continuing. i like her he either talks about his career before youtube and that being a freelance violinist living in new york at the age of 21 nikocado avocado had dreams of playing in the pit orchestra of a broadway show also let's introduce his boyfriend orlin home now, Orlin used to live in Colombia. Like, in an old video, Orlin actually explains that they met on some old Facebook group called Gay Vegan Men. This was around 2013. After several months of communication, they ended up meeting in New York, where Nikocado Avocado serenaded him while wearing a tuxedo. It's pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cute. So when I put yeah. the second channel, Nikocado Avocado 2, on a Wayback Machine, you can actually see 
that they co-owned that channel. It actually seems like it started off to be Orlin's channel. As you can see, the name is just Orlin Home. So as time went on, Nicholas was appearing on multiple YouTube channels trying to promote the healthy vegan lifestyle, which also influenced him to start uploading his own videos as a vegan vlogger. Now, later in 2015 slash 2016, that's when vegans really got into mukbanging. But things started to take a turn when Nicholas started promoting these vegan mukbang videos where he would eat an unhealthy amount of the food. Now, if you go to his first video on his main channel, you'll see that it's him explaining that he is no longer vegan. Now, I'm pretty sure there were videos before that <coughs> that were just deleted or privated, but basically he explains that he experienced severe fatigue, heightened sensory sensitivity, and significant vitamin deficiency just because he was vegan. And he wow. also explains that the vegan community on YouTube is very toxic. And so begin these new uploads with meat, I guess you could say meat. Uh, regular people food. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, man. So at the beginning, his uploads were fairly innocent, with Orlin sometimes appearing by his side, but he also had this cute parrot on his shoulder. As time went on, viewers started to notice it. He began to, uh, gain weight. By the way, guys, if you're this far into the video, please make sure to leave a like and leave a comment. Comments help a lot, and the likes too, because so, those two are like the engagement. So make sure to leave a like and leave a comment, and if you guys aren't already, do what that pillow's telling you to do, alright? Subscribe. And also do what that man's telling you to do, which is kiss me on the lips. Who is that? Really that but it was is that Andrew that, Tate back there? I wonder the reason that viewers were tuning in to I see his know. videos. People were clicking to see the random arguments Nick would have with his boyfriend, other YouTubers, or even himself. Nicholas has said that he's always been dramatic and chooses to take advantage of his low moments for YouTube success. I'm just like, well, fuck it. Everyone already hates me, or I'm already dramatic. Let me just grab the camera and film it. He also acknowledged in Trisha's podcast that the videos where he's emotionally dramatic get the most views. They like when I'm upset. They like when I'm crying. They like when I'm hyper, he said, adding that he intentionally makes video titles clickbaity. <laughs> All right, so Stephanie Sue, another mukbang YouTuber, uploaded a video on December 21st, 2019, titled Why I'm Scared of Nikocado Avocado. All right, you guys. Scared of him? I had to watch a lot of hours of this. Avocado uploaded his own version where he responded and she responded. So I'm going to try to sum it up as best as I can because I really don't want this segment to take up the entire uh, video. So basically, Nick was DMing Stephanie and asking for a collab. And she would always deny for other reasons. You know, just doesn't know him. Eventually... He's in LA. So they decide to have dinner and it seems like they become good friends. They share a bunch of personal stuff with each other and cool buddies, right? Then eventually they decide to collab and release three videos. Now they're going to collab with an extra person named Zach Coy. I believe that is his name, Zach Coy. So that's one video for each channel. She explains that Nikocado Avocado made her feel extremely uncomfortable trying to get her to talk about drama that she was recently involved in. He was trying to push her to talk about drama on video there's video drama is one hell of a drug she explains that she was really scared because it seemed like after he was just gaslighting her and saying but you're the one that wanted to talk about it and she says that well she never really wanted to she also explains that he was taking pictures of the inside of her house which that is pretty weird i don't know why he did that so nikocado avocado ended up responding with a video of his own but as you can see it got extremely extremely dislike bomb then stephanie uploads another video with even more receipts and proving him wrong so as 2020 goes on nikocado keeps uploading these drama fuel we broke up with who broke up oh you titles they didn't even need to involve drama sometimes they were just, just really break up with his boyfriend if he's that fine like something much. was going on in his personal life his viewers were starting to get worried even random people that would click on the videos i mean who wouldn't this Dude is slowly ending himself, and that sounds really messed up. But we're witnessing he him is. slowly end his life. Dude's <laughs> fucking ads. Due to consuming an unhealthy amount of food, and it doesn't help that he puts it online and it cries about it. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Nikocado Avocado even ended up creating an OnlyFans. So, uh, oh my god! If you guys are ever feeling in the mood, make sure to subscribe to that. And then, no. I heard about his OnlyFans. I'm not. <laughs> I understand why people would check it out, but hey, you do you. He also claimed he was quitting YouTube to focus on his health because he weighed 320 pounds. I figured I'd come on here to let y'all know that yesterday's video was my last mukbang. It wasn't a troll. It wasn't a joke. Um, that's why everyone's freaking out because I didn't post today. My first time in three years not posting, like missing a day, but because I meant it. If I don't take control of my health, I'm gonna die. 320 pounds is nothing. You say that now, but that you continue and, uh, doing this shit. Work on my relationship off camera. So, anyways, yesterday's video was the last one. 
Yemen, which he didn't end up going through with. He just kept uploading more mukbang videos. ADD. So on the podcast with Trisha, he ended up saying that he was adopted at an early age and struggled to make sense as to why his biological parents had put him up for adoption. And as a result, he said that he ended up acting out most of his childhood and even received mental health intervention. Just like one of the spotlight, which is so different of how I am now, especially off camera. I'm very kind of just like reserved and stuff, but... I'm surprised they would want to put you in there because it seems like a normal thing. A five-year-old is as loud sometimes as a teen. Yeah, they put me on medication too. At five? Or seven. Seven was my first time. Seven? Solo. Yeah. No. What the f- I disagree with that, but then again, I wasn't raising myself. My parents said it was hard, but I don't know my personality disorder or anything. But I got, they say I have ADD and OCD. At seven? No, that was more so like preteen when they told me that. So they diagnosed you with That's fucked up. Yeah. So Yeah. I, I didn't know he had um legitimate uh mental disorders. Um I knew he had a eating disorder, but that really uh makes you makes you think. Um for the most part we are done with the information. Now let's head over to my opinion. Mm -hmm. Realizing that this man does have mental problems and an eating disorder, mm -hmm. it's very sad seeing him use food as a way to get views and money and also to get it's attention. It's not good. It's really saddening because yeah. it doesn't have to be that way, you know? It's kind of scary that he's almost rewarded in a way for doing this. I mean, not even almost. He is rewarded. He gets views. He gets money. He gets enough money to buy a new apartment. I feel yeah, like what the YouTube fuck happened with that? Is I saw that video. I feel like he's being rewarded for having these disorders. I would not be surprised if YouTube ends up demonetizing his channel due to body endangerment. Is that, a, is that a term? Body endangerment? Or endangerment to himself. Not only to him, but others. I mean, I don't know how healthy it is to watch people with eating disorders and mental disabilities eat uh, their heart out on camera. And it's really scary. Not even the fact that he does have mental disorders, but the fact that he could drop dead. Yeah. I know it sounds weird, but... I have a heart attack beats him with cheeseburgers. At any moment. And I see it. That's scary. That's super sad. I really yeah. hope he gets help somehow. But Nick Ocado Avocado has been a big topic on YouTube ever since he started being dramatic on camera. Look, guys, if you have an eating disorder or some type of body dysmorphia, dude, please make sure to talk to someone. Get some help. I don't have There's any eating disorders, but and, uh, I'll help you. If you guys want to call. I'll contact I understand that. that's a problem. And in some, in a, by chance, Nick Ocado, if you're watching this video, please just get some help like he's beyond like, help he's beyond help dude i hope that wasn't a weird way to say it but i don't think there's any other way to say it was i not in the center of this whole time is this the center guys i'm sorry if i wasn't in the center of the screen all right that's it for this video i hope you guys like the intro at the beginning of the video i think it's really really cool it's kind of creepy right give you that creepy vibe i also want to thank my current channel members you guys are awesome spongebob you guys so much Love you. Don't worry, guys. We're back to the regular uploading schedule. Every three or four days, new videos, all right? So that's two videos a week. Don't worry. But yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Do all that. And download video link. I love you guys so much, genuinely. And I'll see you guys next time I upload. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted, but... Yeah, you, you might as well stop. Just stop. The f <laughs> He's going to keep eating until he... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've seen tons of videos on him. He's just gonna keep eating. He ain't gonna give a fuck what you say. So, so with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you guys in the next one. Peace.